Hey Drew, what's the go with PCOS and alcohol consumption? Yeah, this is a great question because a lot of people enjoy alcohol. And I'll answer it very quickly right now and then I'll explain my answer. Once again, like most things in life, absolutely fine in moderation. Now what's moderation? Usually they say around one standard drink per day for a female and 99.99% of the people watching this video will be females. So about one standard drink. That's not one drink, it's one standard drink per day. Now, why they may say is alcohol could be bad for you is number one, a lot of people consume too much alcohol. But if you're someone who just enjoys a little bit of alcohol, the reason that alcohol may be negatively affecting your weight or your PCOS is number one, uh, a lot of alcohol is pre-made so it's full of sugar or you're mixing it with sugary drinks. So if you're mixing it with Coke or lemonade or a soft drink, those are calories you're consuming. That's sugar you're consuming. And also alcohol is quite calorie dense. There's a lot of calories in the actual alcohol. So if you're having calories in the alcohol, plus you're mixing it with a sugary drink, you'll be shocked by how many calories you can actually drink just by drinking alcohol. So if you're not already eaten for that day, and on top of that, you're having a big night on the drinks, you're gonna be consuming a lot, a lot of calories, which obviously can lead to weight gain. And as we all know, if you wake up the next day hungover or just feeling down, you're not gonna be doing your workout. You're not going to be eating healthy. I've never seen someone who's hungover craving a chicken salad. So you're probably gonna be choosing something greasy. So then there's the knock-on effects from drinking alcohol. And there's also been a fair few studies showing that alcohol can decrease fertility in women especially women with PCOS. So if you are trying to fall pregnant at the moment, I would say, look, avoid alcohol as much as possible because one drink every now and again does not compare to a lifetime with your child. So that's that. All in all, absolutely fine in moderation. What's moderation? Probably one standard drink a day. If you're trying to fall pregnant, I would say avoid it. But if not, find a way to make it work in your lifestyle to achieve your goals.